Hey there, and welcome to the Future Olympian. My name is Andrea Clow. I'm the owner and trainer here. And today I want to take a look at what is the difference between hard workouts versus easy, long, short workouts. So we have this huge like contradiction out there. And this goes for the horse, this goes for the rider, the same perspectives apply. So what should we be doing? Should we be doing long, hard workouts every single day? Or should we be doing short, easy, slash hard workouts kind of um, every other day? What is the correlation? What are what are, should we be doing? Well, the truth is, a lot of times when we throw ourselves into long, hard workouts, saying we're working out two hours, maybe three hours every single day, we're going super hard through all these workouts, we burn ourselves out. We can't stay consistent, right? We usually we fall off the wagon probably in the first month and our bodies are just exhausted. They're like, oh, I can't do it. And we don't see any weight fluctuations. We don't see, sometimes we don't even see suppleness really, unless we're incorporating yoga into this. Um, and we just, we set ourselves back further than we actually should. We set ourselves so far back that we're like, I don't even want to work out. I don't even want to look at a treadmill. I don't want to look down the road. I don't want to look at weights. I don't want to do any of it. <laughs> and we put ourselves on automatic defense and we're like, no, we cannot do this. And that's why I always, always, always tell people, start small, start where you can, start simple. I don't care if it's a 10 minute walk down the road, you are getting out and you are being active. That is our number one goal. So, because long, hard workouts aren't exactly great for us, and if we're doing them five days a week, we're not actually aiding our body or helping them do anything. We're not. Because our bodies actually need time to recover, especially if we're focusing on a muscle group specifically. So if we're doing the same muscle group back to back to back to back, the muscle group never has a chance to actually fully come to its ultimate power where we actually progress. So we can actually train that muscle only two days a week and progress. So this is why we incorporate cross training. This is why we incorporate more than one style of training, why we don't do the same workout every single day because our bodies get used to it. So I don't suggest doing two hour workouts. I don't suggest doing super hard workouts. I suggest start where you're at. Start where you are. If you are not doing anything except maybe getting out to ride your horse a few days a week, take 10, 20 minutes, three days out of your week. If you are not looking to do a whole lot of showing, you're just looking to ride um, it just for fun, take three, three days a week, 20 minutes. That's all you gotta do. Super simple, super easy. Target some main points, go for a walk. Um, and these will progress you. Now, if you're doing, saying you're in ultimate competition mode, you want to go out, you're going to compete, then I suggest four days a week at an hour. You don't have to do more. Hopefully you didn't hear my son. <laughs> He's downstairs yelling. You don't have to do a whole a three-hour workout to be a competitive rider. You can do it in an hour, and your body is going to thank you for that for only four days a week your body needs so much more than all of this added like to stress in it because you have so much stress going on already that's why a lot of people don't gain lose weight when they work out super hard because they're so stressed they're not getting their body is in like <gasps> savoring mode it's like oh my god i can't deal with all this so we have to create this heaven inside of fitness for our bodies so if you're riding competitively, then take four days a week, take an hour each of those days and focus on two different things. So you're mixing it up, you're making it harder, you're making it more relaxed, you're making it back and forth, listen to your body. And that's when you progress. Not in this three hour workout doing the exact same thing every single day, it doesn't work like that. And the same thing goes for our horses. If we're constantly training them the exact same way every single day, they're not going to progress. This is why we need plans. This is why we need to take a step back. This is why we have trainers. This is why we have people to guide us through this. So <laughs> this is my theory on 
hard workouts versus easy workouts versus long workouts. Find your happy place. Find where you're at. Take 30 minutes, 20 minutes, three times a week, and you'll be fine. You'll be completely fine. Even in a competitive level, you can still train effectively in those. No, it's not going to be the best, but it's going to put your body in a lot better place. Okay? All right, so that's my little speech on all of this. If you have questions, please drop them below. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe, and we'll see you all very soon.